I'm dying of the coronavirus. But if you sing, it doesn't sound quite as bad. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream patter was my attempt to make a song about the coronavirus, which failed miserably. Um, okay. So we're going to basically continue from what we were doing previously. Uh, but this time we're going to clean things up a little bit differently. Uh, so the idea here is we had uh, potentially multiple parts for the date, multiple parts for uh, semantic annotation, because it could look like x, y, but x itself could be consisting of multiple parts, y itself could be consisting of multiple parts, and in this case, z itself could be uh, consisting of multiple parts. Uh, so we need to deal with that. We also need to deal with the, uh, the fact that the dates are, um, that there is a, there can be multiple dates here. And for multiple dates, we're going to actually try to handle this uh, outside of the cr uh, create semantic triples, or actually outside of the parse semantic uh, um, subroutine. Okay. So now here, um, Okay. So here we're basically going to take multiple dates and just break them up into, not here, we're going to have a better, another function to do it. Um, sub, uh, ex not extract, exude, exclude, denormalize, um, uh, expand, I think is going to be the thing to do. Um, given data uh, in lines. So I guess that's the, uh, that's the data there. Um, given data in lines. Given data where the first field of each line represents dates. Uh, um, expand out create array of dates uh, of lines where each line has a single date. So that should be quite doable here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, so here we're going to have um, expand dates date, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to actually extract the data right here. Um, so I don't think we can do this in semantic triples. Um, yep, and we, we're going to do our to-do here. So let's see. Yeah, I think this is a better comment. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, this is probably technically correct. Let's see what we want here. Okay, so my all, we don't, probably don't need to do that. We can actually just say, um, this is one of the things I'm probably going to regret. Uh, and then data equals all. So we're basically going to reduce data to be just the, um, the data section. And then expand dates is going to take the data as input. And since we're just testing that, we can just do a die here. So expand dates. Um, my data equals data. I don't know why this looks like a double line now. It's really just a single underscore. But apparently, um, wow. Apparently when you highlight it, so this is fine. When you highlight it, it magically gets... Uh, looks like two lines, either that or I'm, I'm going blind, which could very easily be the case. Okay, so for dollar sign I split on the new line character, data. Um, so I think we're going to return an array, and we'll call it my ret, the return array. Um, okay. So then we have to do this, uh, basically this, um, uh, we split this um, into two pieces, which is going to be, okay. Uh, 
Okay, so my dates is going to be per, uh, percentage dollar sign one. The dollar sign I now is actually the rest of the string because we've removed this portion from it. Um, and so now we should be able to do this uh, parse dates magic. Um, oh, and that we actually put into parse triple, which we can move out of there now. Uh, here we are. So we can do probably a little bit better than this. Um, my okay dates. Now I'm tempted to. Uh, yeah. See, I could do parse date list. This is just hideous here. Um, okay. And then for dollar sign J in dates, we can push. Um, we can push to return. Uh, dollar sign I is what's left, and so dollar sign J is the date. Um, this is going to be really ugly, but let's see what it does. So expand dates is going to return, um, we'll call it data. Okay. And this should basically break up all the multiple dates into single dates. Let's see what that does. This works. I'm going to uh, BC get it because I'm really paranoid. Um, that's not what I meant to do, but let's see what that did. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's really ugly uh, from our perspective, but it's beautiful in the sense of being able to be in the in the sense that we can parse it. Okay. So one really clever way to check this will be to look at the length of the first field, which should always be now I think ten. I mean, it'll be the same. Is the point? Uh oh. There appear to be some some. Okay, so m almost always ten. There's some cases where it appears to be eight near the end. So let's take a look at that. That I'm hoping is just a um. Oh, multi-ref, of course, we're ignoring, so that's okay. Um, I'm going to let that go. I don't think there are enough uh, errors there to bother with that right now. So we're going to leave it as it is, broke it up into dates, which is very nice. Um, so this gives me a list of data and then create semantic triples, given a list of... Uh, lines that look like, uh, well, okay, uh, that represent source, that represent source and data, um, parse, did I have this documented somewhere? Oh, um, Create semantic triples. No. Well, oh, that's what it says it's going to do. Create semantic triples and return resolved value after line interpolate. That sounds really good. I don't know what it means, but it sounds really good. So here we're going to say that we're given data already. So that, that helps us out a little bit. Um, and again, really, if I were being smart, I would pass the data as a list ref not as a list, um, but I'm going to let that go for right now. Okay, so now basically we, um, this simplifies it a lot to just for I in data. We don't have to split anything because we've already had it split for us. Find the leftmost word, which is all, which is always a single date. Um, so we have this is equal to the date, the rest of it is now, um, the rest of it is now the actual line. So here we're going to say now the rest of this line, we're going to say, well, this happens, and, well, okay, if data equals multi-ref, and if date dollar sign one E, 
and then is this inside of this? Oh no, this is actually, this should not be here. This should be actually, after we're, we're done parsing, um, after we've created the semantic triples, what does that return actually? Oh, it just populates the triples hash, so it doesn't return anything. Uh, create semantic triples. Doesn't. Okay. So now this one I think we need to be a little bit better with. So the source will always be just a single date. Um, so n the nice thing here is source is going to be a single date. Um, so we don't need to, yeah, we don't need to do this anymore. Okay. Okay, and I think here we can just call this X, Y, and Z because that's kind of what we're doing in the in the documentation anyway. And then, uh, okay. Uh, um, as lists, if they have plus signs in them, so this should this should handle the case. Even if they don't have lists, of course, this will still work. Uh, let's see. I think I've got a split on a hard plus. I don't know if I'm allowed to have uh, spaces on either side, so it's going to be a hard plus, basically. Um, and then, of course, that applies to the other two as well. Uh, y, Z. And fix that up like this, or not. Okay. All right. If just one part return comma separated values um, com it's not really comma separated it's comma delimited it's not that's not true either values so if there's only one part um, let's see we have a bunch of little thingies in there uh, so it's going to be dollar sign equal link dollar sign basically um, on X and again the question I always have is whether this changes X or it does not first Pomodoro we're gonna skip it um, so what we're basically doing we're assigning everything we're changing X by uh, mapping everything to link of whatever and then we can just return the join of that. Uh, so we can return join comma space of x with the links in there. Okay. I said I was going to save something, and I don't think I did. So give me a second here. Okay. So this is actually not too bad. Okay, so parts, okay, so now here is the weirdness. Um, and I guess, ooh. Um, cool, I actually managed to screw this up. Um, um, okay, this is ugly. If dollar sign x is defined, but dollar sign y and z are not defined, then we do this. And I could even do that with lists if I really wanted to. So this is if dollar sign x and and dollar sign y uh, and and not dollar sign z. So if two of them are defined, not the third. Um, and so then we say if. Uh, let's see. So we have x. So if the target here has a pipe sign in it, which will be Y in this case, then we're going to say that the link text is one and Y is going to be reduced to just the actual object that it points to. We no longer need this. Um, but we still need to go through all of the potential um, We still need to go through all of the potential uh, uh, the potential objects in in Y. Ooh, that actually doesn't work. Hang on, <coughs> because 
because if I've split Y like this, it's okay. So we really need to check up here um, if Y has a pipe sign in it. Okay. If Y pipe something, uh, remove pipe something and note as link text. So really we need to do my link text way up here. Um, well, we don't need to empty that. It's, just, it's an empty string by def definition. Um, okay. So if y, something wrong here. Um, wait, what the hell? Okay, hang on. Uh, something is not working right. But we're going to do this. If Y happens to have a pipe sign in it, we remove it, and but we do set the link text equal to it. Okay, so this is fine. If X and Y are defined, but Z is not defined, we don't need to do this my link text anymore. Um, then basically for everything in Y, and we already have a dollar sign I float. Do we have a dollar sign I floating? We do not. Dollar sign I in Y. We're going to say triples. Uh, we're checking this case here. It's going to be triples. Uh, the source, which is now just one date, because we have already um, we've already split it up. So source. And then um, x uh, fudge. We need to go through both x and y. And x could be multiple things as well. But if x is multiple things, it's not going to have a. We're not going to be worried about printing, hopefully. <coughs> um. So really, we need to say for um, i and x, which could be just one thing, and j and y could also be just be one thing. Um, and let's make sure this is correct. So in both cases, we're creating. So it's going to be triples source x, which is dollar sign i, and y, which is dollar sign j, and. We also want the reverse, which is dollar sign j dollar sign minus dollar sign i because i is a um, i is a relation type, and then over here source. Okay, so we can do that right here. Okay. Okay. So now the return value is going to be. Um, okay, so we basically need to take all of Y, the target, and put it in, basically do what we did here. Um, so in fact, I think exactly what we did there. And dollar sign equals, equals link dollar sign. So I guess there's sort of a question here whether the pipe sign is is individual or is to for all of them. So if, let's say if it is for for all of them. Um, if it's for each one individually, we have to change what's being returned here to link text instead of um, instead of just the link. So that's kind of ugly. Um, yeah, so we actually can do a little bit better than that. Okay. So that means we can't get rid of the link text all the way up here. We can still declare it as a variable. Um, so we need to do this on an individual Y level. Okay, if it's just one part, if it's two parts, for j equals y, 
Um, okay. So we basically have to build up. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, do we have a ret value here? We do not. So we can build one up here. Um, okay. So basically, if we do have a um, pipe sign followed by something, um, uh, well, yeah, dot star. In. Then we need to push to ret. Um, this is okay. We need to push to ret link of dollar sign J, but the text we're giving it is dollar sign one. So there's that. But if it's not that, we just push to ret link dollar sign j by itself. And then, either way, now that we've trimmed j just down to the object name, uh, we do this, we do that. And since we've pushed all of the... So now we can just say... Um, We can just join these all in a big comma of ret, because those have the correct links. And that's the end of if there are two val values. Um, and so now, well, okay, now we don't actually need to work. Now, now this is the only other case that remains, presumably. OK. Um, so here, it's quite possible that actually all three of them have um, that all three of them have multiple values. Uh, so we're going to need a triple loop here. Uh, okay. And we're going to return basically the z. We're going to return what we did for uh, the two variable case, but this time z is the list of things to return. And I get the feeling this is going to get worse. Um, so, but anyway. Y Z. So here we're going to have triples, uh, whatever is the X position, whatever is in the Y position, whatever is in the Z position. But we need to fix something here for just a sec. And then also, same thing backwards, except this case time it's minus dollar sign J, dollar sign I. And then we won't worry about returning anything right now. Dun, dun, dun. OK. And for Z, and for K, we need to make sure it's, if it has an alternate name. Um, uh, so I guess we might as well declare a my ret here as well. And so for K, if dollar sign K equals substitute da, 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 pipe dot star something, turn, then push ret. Uh, link to dollar sign key a dollar sign one yeah and if it does not do that if it is the other case where you well, okay 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 this okay hang on push and then else and if it doesn't have a tag in front of it we just Push. I get the feeling this is still very ugly. Okay. Then regardless, do this. This should be the end of the K, J, I, if statement. This should never ever come up now. Ooh. Unbalanced parentheses. I don't. If it is true, I'm going to let, um, let Perl tell me about it when it doesn't even compile. Oh, okay. That did work. 
Okay, so hang on here. Oh, we don't have a return value. Um, so this is outside the K. Sorry, outside the I. But still within this case. Yeah, this is... Join comma space ret. So again, this is really kind of ugly here. Um, this little inside section here we probably could have uh, fixed up without writing redundant code. And we still might regret not having done that, but let's see what happens. Um. Oh, I have that T to attempt debug. Okay. fully understand this double link here. We need to worry about that, but that's fairly minor, I think. I guess there's also sort of an issue here with, well, I guess whether or not a storyline can have inside of it um, a link to a character. Um... Now, or why this is happening. Um, or why that's happening. Rat and Farina, but it shouldn't be Link Link. Okay, so lots of lots of bad stuff going on here. Um So what we should be seeing it a after we get past all these, there we go. Okay, so... So Alphonse the Porcupine is a character. Um, he has an alias, well, okay, it's the other way around. Um, The, is a character and all of these things. I know Rat has a lot of AKAs. So let's see if we can find some of those. Um, yep, this is... <sighs> yep, this is, this is pretty bad. Okay, so we're trying to get all of our semantic tri triples up and running, and this should actually do it, by the way. This is, I mean, this is what we get, this is the result of what we have here. Um, but the question is, well, okay, we do have a, we do have a little trick up our sleeve here. I think, um... The other program does produce a, uh, a, a database, a SQLite 3 database, which as you can see I produced uh, 13 hours ago. No, sorry, 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 wrong time. About 19 hours ago yesterday. And I'm almost sure that Perl's not, uh, Emacs isn't going to load it like a, a database, but on the off chance it does, I'm curious. No, it does not. It does, do we have an SQLite mode? I doubt it. Um... Oh my god. Oh my double god. Okay, this might just be a command line uh, to um, SQL, but let's take a look. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at... Okay, so rat gender male, pig gender male. 
Uh, Max Lion Generux. So a lot of these, we'll have to, you know, we'll have to mess with them a little bit. But these should all match the ones we got from uh, from this. So let's see if we can do that. Um, uh, and I guess to be politically correct, I'd have to change these to sex, but I'm not going to. Um, okay, and so so this actually has source relation. Oh, data sources just tells you where we got that information from, um, which we may not care about. Uh, so let's see. So I guess the thing to do here uh, would be to dump this database created by the other uh, the other program and compare it to what we have here to see that we're even getting the same amount of data. That we're getting the same data. Can I not? I should be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay. So to do that, we'll want to print these semantic triples. Um, uh, as I do, they, do they have commas in them? They must, right? Um, so this is pipe separated, and well, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and create a directory for this. Uh, SQL like three, var temp pbs. Dump, I think. Okay, okay. Um, no, that's not what I wanted, though. There is a way to get a dump that uh, is not like a... Um, it's not like that, basically. Okay, there's a way to do this. Um, output mode to column. I think I want output mode that is like um, pipe separate. Uh, let's see. A batch command CSV, not quite CSV, but close. Um, do I want this? No. Let's see. I don't know if dot dump might not actually do what I want uh, at all. Um, so HTML, that shouldn't work. Yeah. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. So I think if I use the dump command, let's see. Well, let's see if batch helps us any. Now, I think if you do dump, it's going to always give you uh, this. And I think the closest we're going to get to that is which I, I don't think this is going to work. Um, yeah. This almost works, except the last field is off. Um, so we should be able to do... Let's see. So we should just be able to do... Um, I should write some of this down. Uh, to test against the 
the DB PSBBC3 uh, creates Get a schema going. Oh, come on. It's going to be source relation target. And this probably isn't going to change, but it's good to have just in case we need to recreate it. So, um. Now we could do the order by an SQL, but I'm guessing the sort field might be just a little bit different for some reason. Um, although I'm tempted now. Let's see what this does. Um, order by. Always forget how to run SQL. Uh, order by. And now the, the sort of the ultimate thing is to see whether it sort minus C thinks no, it doesn't like that. So the sort that used by Unix is going to be different. So we can't really do that. Uh, sort old db sorted dot. It's not really text, but we can call it text. Um, so we can do that. Um, And I think I'm smart enough to realize this should all be one line. Okay. So the old DB sorted is this. And then what we're doing, I guess technically, um, there's definitely some issues here. Uh, but I'm sort of curious. So this has 34,000. 756 annotations, whereas this has 51,523. So there is a little bit more going on here. And I think this, just to compare the two, I might need to change apostrophes into these things. But let's, let's just do a, see if we can do a diff between, this is ill-advised. This is very ill-advised. In fact, it might, oh, interesting. Um, wow. Okay, so this one also has like next and prevs in it, um, which, which at some point we do need, uh, but that may not be a huge deal. Uh, let's see. Um, so this is actually not too bad. First appearance, so... So a lot of this is just because the apostrophes need to be changed over, and I'm pretty sure I'm okay with doing that. Um, uh, let's see. Um... And I guess in some cases I have the word link, rat's father rat, as opposed to just saying um, the, the, the title object. Um, but all told, this is not too bad looking. Now the hash list is basically the list of which, um, of how to get to the, the maximum sized images. So hash, next, and prev uh, are not really that interesting in terms of what we're doing. Um, we can create them. Uh, it's not that hard. Um, let's see. Yeah. So, see, see, I'm not exactly sure how in the old version I knew that zebra writes to antelopes uh, was supposed to be zebra and antelopes both get um, both get linked, but now I'm going to do something really strange and actually see if that actually does happen. Zebra writes to antelopes um, as a description of one of the one of the strips, which I probably could have actually just gone to the strip. Let's go over here. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, wow. So I guess in the description... Hmm. That's interesting. So when I actually mention a character... Hmm. So this might be uh, actually a glitch that we're fixing. So the question is, if I have something like... Well, we'll just look at this one. Um, uh, zebra writes... Okay. So this... It looks like in this case, I'm saying the description is so-and-so. Zebra writes to the character antelopes. Um, but now the question is, do I want zebra and antelope to be links? And... And the answer to that might be that I do. Um, so that's actually inconsistent right there. So here, do I want rat to be highlighted or not? I mean, to be linked or not linked? Um, and here, do I want to say, oh... Actually, actually, this is this is bad because this means that I have a, uh, a sort of a hanging text here that would just say pig, rat, Morton, ladybug, all linked. Um, but I don't think that's what I want. Um, uh, let's see. So shit. Um, okay. So, so really, if I have something that's hanging out here uh, that says blah 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 character pig rat nor this should become. Uh, what should this become? Pig writes to Bob Dole. I guess it, description is a special kind of field here. Um, and that really should say member P PD Potato Fruit Buddies. Character. That's interesting. So I might have, these might be just like hanging sort of texts that have nothing to... Uh, that that have nothing in front of them. Um, hmm. Okay. So, I might not... So I might not be parsing these quite correctly. Uh, the other issue appears to be... Well, the big issue appears to be uh, apostrophes and... Um, I think we get rid of, like... Let's see how many of these diffs there are. 71,000. Let me see how I get next and prev, because those should be fairly easy to add. Um, um, okay, where the hell do we get the next in prev? Oh, shit, there's misks here, aren't there? Okay, hang on. I kind of almost wish I hadn't gotten back into this. Um... that is. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, 
Do any of these still do next or prev? Oh yeah, here it is. Um. Okay. Hmm. So next prev. And there was one other one other than next and prev that we were missing. Well, let's take a look again real quick. Yeah, let's. Um, so apostrophes, next, prev, and there was one other that we didn't, um, that we didn't like. Hash, maybe? Okay, and hash, I think I know how I get, get to, but, um, I think it's from something called image links. Yeah, PBS large Im image links. Um, I guess there's a file here called large image links. I would not be, there it is. Oh yeah, here they are. The links to the, the huge sizes of each of each strip. Uh, at least they were at one point. Um, and by the way, I only went to, through 2014 on this. Um, so I did sort of give up at some point. Uh, well, so the some point being about five and a half years ago. So I might come back to this, I might not, but th the more interesting is to take the information I do have and, and try to parse it correctly. Okay, so the large image, so the hash, the next, and the prev, uh, I'm gonna make a note here to, that we need to um, add next, prev, and hash, um, triplet, triples, uh, from triples where relation, not in hash prev or next and do that and then let's see if I can actually um, if I can actually run that in 2020-0317 where I have all this cr well I guess I guess this is going to be Yeah, this is going to probably not work because I'm not going to be able to overwrite uh, old sort of DB, but that's a, that's a minor issue. There we go. Yep. Okay. Uh, select source relation target from triples where relation not in hash prev next. Um, oh. Okay. In fact, I like that one so much, I'm going to go ahead and put it in um, test against the DB that this creates, C tilde 2020 0317 La Paz. Um, okay. I don't want that. I want to do a one liners dot TCSH. Create the old sorted DB. And that's going to be exactly that. And again, I kind of get the feeling I should be using a make file for this, but I don't think I need that because there's really the, the dependency is on something that doesn't change. So old sort of DB. Okay. Now let's take a look. Well, first of all, let's do a word count on old sort of DB and a word count on temp debug. Not bad. We're getting very close. And let's see what's going on. Okay. Um, there's a few glitches here and there. Um, okay. All right, we definitely need to change these apostrophes. And I, I think there's one thing else we need to change. It's probably quotation marks. And it's also probably in the original, in the original program. Uh, so let's take a look here to make sure that apostrophes 
Um, is there any place that we actually need apostrophes unquoted? I don't think so. So, so let's go back over here and okay so I think here we can this is where we do this and in this one I know we did it because I ignored it earlier because uh, I didn't understand it yeah uh, oh and commas I guess because we're gonna be well no we're not gonna be using commas as our delineator so we don't need to do that um, apostrophes with their HTML equivalent I don't see us needing to replace commas and this of course happens to data um, so we can rewrite this now minus minus debug and oh wait hang on yeah we actually need to write this um, okay Okay, now we could probably make a make file. Uh, let's see, hang on. Here we actually probably could make a make file. Um, run program and sort output lexically. Lexically is a big word. Um, so what we want to do here is, for right now at least, um, Minus minus to bug, pipe to sort, pipe to, well, we can just do this. Um, okay, so now if we do this, we get both of those, and I can say sort minus C, old DB sorted. Yes, yeah, sort minus C, debug text. Good. So now doing the diff should be a lot easier. Um... Okay. Okay. Okay, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. Oh, hello. Okay, we are almost back. Okay, we're back. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here, um, I've created a wiki for Pearls Before Swine, a comic strip. But the cool thing is that this wiki is created from a single page. However, it uses semantic media wiki on the server side, which means um, it's fairly inefficient. I'm trying to rewrite this um, wiki with just HTML and maybe CSS uh, and maybe JavaScript. Um, so the idea is to get pretty much this back right here, uh, but all the sort of HTML. And maybe, like I said, a little bit of JavaScript to allow like sortable tables or something. Um, but aside from that, it's it's going to be pretty much HTML. 
Let me know if that helps or it's still confusing. Um, uh, this is FVWM2 running on a Linux machine. It's CentOS. Um, so this is Linux. FVWM2 is the window manager. Um, and CentOS is the underlying the sort of flavor of Linux that I'm using. Ooh, harsh. Well, I, I FEWM2 is something I use. Well, actually, FEWM is something I used to use a long time ago. FEWM2 I really like. I'm not a big fan of KDE, or I think it's GNOME is the other one. Um, this is a nice, simple window manager for me, and it, and it does what I want. Um, certainly, I'd be open to other options if there were some advantage to it, but, you know, a window manager is a, is a window manager, in my opinion. Um, so, that's just how I feel. Okay. And so, class strip appears to be another one that, uh, shows up a lot that we don't really need. And it also appears like, okay. Hello, Rolf. Welcome back. Or if you've always been here, welcome right where you are. Um, oh yeah, I do remember TWM, the window manager and MWM I mean, I remember, I remember VT100. I remember consoles uh, where we didn't have graphics. Um, but I do remember a TWM as being the very, very basic window manager. Um, God, there's a bunch more that I, I had to deal with at one point. MW, because at the time, um, you didn't, you know, on machines where you can't install your own thing, you got to use whatever window manager they give you. And uh, TWM wasn't really too bad, but... Um, FVWM definitely has more features. So let me go ahead and change this. Um, see, there you go. If they used it, it's got to be right. I don't know who Theo de Rat is. I know who Donald Knuth is, of course. Uh, he wrote pretty much all the algorithms uh, that people still don't know and still don't use, but they, but they could if they wanted to. Um... But yeah, of course, you could argue that was the only thing available in their time, blah, 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 blah. People like me should have moved on to something newer, but no, I like it. That's the way I like it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, OpenBSD, okay, that's pretty good too. Um, I've, I've worked with OpenBSD and FreeBSD before. Mac OS X, of course, is, is pretty much OpenBSD, unless it's NetBSD. But it's one of those, but cool. So, I'm solid. I'm solid. I'm happy with FVWM. What the hell am I doing, though? I'm not... I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, though. All right, hang on. Um, so, another one we don't need right now is class. <laughs> we have no class, believe me. And so we'll do this. And we will just run this one-liners again. And we will, of course, um, change this to be overwrite debug.txt as needed. Okay, so now we can diff the two suckers. Um... Okay. Yeah, T shell. Um, if I knew back then what I know today, I probably not would not have married myself to T shell, or actually at the time it was C shell. Um, 
And I think, because at that time, the Born Shell was not that powerful. Uh, when Bash came out, it really... Bash is a much better improvement on Born Shell than T Shell is on C Shell. Um, but, but whatever. Okay. Okay. So we're very, very close here to what I want. So let's see. Kind of weird that every so often we get like link zebra, we get zebra in double brackets. Um, and in other cases, we just get wow, pig right. So this is weird. Um, So let's take a look at what that original is there. That gave me such weird results. Um, so it's, we need the one that says famous people. Here it is. Storyline, oh god, pig rights to famous people. Um, so the way that should be parsed is, oh, that's just going to give a link to pig rights to famous people. Um, so why is this, so why does that remove, oh, maybe because it's treating storyline as special. Um, Okay. <sighs> okay, so Okay, so these are so it's pretty damn close, but not quite there. I also don't like why I'm getting a link link farina. Um, okay. This is good shit here. Um, Okay. Okay. Apparently every time character is pasties, pasties, Mr. Stephen Pasties, the author of the strip, there's something in the old one that's converting him into uh, Stephen Pasties. Uh, fuck. <coughs> so the only thing I can see doing here, um, I mean, there's a couple of other minor things, but the, the big thing here sort of Jesus Christ. Um, uh, 
character, character, character. So I mean that's that's kind of That is not parsed correctly. Yeah, that that is not being so. I think the line in two thousand three oh eight twenty. Uh, this is not being uh, parsed correctly. Um, let's see. Okay, character deaths are a minute down. Oh, fudge. Okay, so this should return. Yeah, that's going to be problematic. What do I mean by this? So deaths, blah, 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 blah. Uh, list of things should return character list of things oh boy so I can't really repeat uh, re so I can't actually for nesting purposes I can't actually choose to return um, comma separated values because it's possible somebody else is going to use the results of whatever I just put in here and and um, uh, okay so this needs to return a bunch of plus signs so we can um, so then we have character, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's, this isn't good. This isn't good. Let me go ahead and BC get this before I break it. Um, okay. All right. So let's go back over here. Uh, if we can find what we're doing. Probably we should have given up on this. Okay, so in the case where we have uh, two, we'll just fix the two case for right now, where we have where we have this case here or the case right after it, which is very similar. Um, did someone else say something? Okay, let me go ahead and put a um, blank line here, so if somebody says something, I will not miss it. So if you want to say anything, please do so. Um, Okay. So basically, I can't do this. I basically have to return the pluses exactly the way they were. Um, uh, so basically, I've got to return dollar sign y the way it was. Yuck. Because it's quite possible that the next thing in line is going to want to feed on them. Mm. All right. I get the feeling there's a lot of inconsistencies in this. So basically, in this case, I'm going to just return J as is. Um... I'm not happy with that. Oh, not J, I'm sorry. Dollar sign Y. Turn Y as is. Okay, I don't think that's gonna... That's kind of ugly. But let's see what that does. It's always worth the shot. Um... Uh, so now let's see if the great, uh, the great massacre of the, uh, the Serengeti Massacre shows up correctly. Uh, I think Paige is the only the only time Paige appears is as a dead zebra. Um, okay. 
Uh, but does it show up in my version? O okay, yes it does, but it needs to show up the other way too. Alright, hang on. Oh, now, now, now I wonder if it's actually the same in both. So, if it's identical, obviously it's not going to show up in, in diff. Um, gorgeous! It does show up the same. Um, yeah, very, very... Ooh, why does it show up three times? Okay, I'm going to guess it shows up twice in the old version. So my new version I use... Um, okay, that's fine. So in the old version, it, it shows up twice, which is... I think that's okay. In fact, I could probably fix that by putting a unique in the, uh, the one-liners. So when we do this, not only do we want to sort, but we want to sort and uniqueify uh, to make the comparison easier. We're never going to get 100% comparison matching, but the idea here is we want to make sure that we're basically getting the same data. Um, we need to figure this out. Um, okay. And uh, the only reason to change commas is because I need to get a match on these things. Plus, it doesn't actually... Um, Okay, so changing the commas is going to make these even closer to each other, and it doesn't hurt anything because uh, it's HTML. So it's actually okay to be using... Um Wait a minute, did I actually just name this thing? Um, no, I didn't. Local. Okay. So back where I change apostrophes, might as well change commas. I uh, might as well match this thing here. Um, this seems unnecessary. Uh, and, I mean, but, so I guess the, the, the issue is it's... Um, uh, oh, sorry, that's going the other direction. Uh, let's see. So we, we basically need to do this. Um, commas go to debat number 44. Okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. 
Okay, let's try it like this. Okay. Pig the ventriloquist. Okay. Um, and I guess what I did here with the, um... So I guess fixing WP bar was not necessarily a good idea. Although there's some inconsistencies in this uh, original document as well. So let me not fix WP for right now. Um, okay, so let's not do that. This still isn't going to give me exactly what I want, but... Um, wait, how is... Oh, is am I still getting, like, link bullshit going on here? Um... Oh, shit, I can't do that. I can't replace all the commas, can I? Because some of them are in the date. So the comma replacement has to occur later than that. Uh, shoot me. Okay, so basically uh, create some... No, that's actually... Create semantic triples with the data. Uh, parse list. Return re okay, so this returns expand date create semantic triples for data, and then, um, okay, so over here it should be safe to replace commas with HTML equivalent. Um, so let's see how that works. We're just basically going to randomly tweak this code until I'm happy with it, which is how I do everything. Okay. Let's get in here. Okay. So the new one is the old DB sorted. Shit. Okay. Character link Farina. Okay. So I guess the other I can't even do like for. The other, the, the simpler case here, um, I can't do this either. I actually do have to return, um, uh, I actually have to return, oops, not that. I have to just return dollar sign Z as it was, because somebody else might want to parse it further. So this is getting pretty ugly. Um, okay, and I, let me do this one more time, and then I'm going to look at something else here. So, I'm sort of curious as to how many lines we have here now. Let's quickly count them. 23,000 still, so we're not, we're not really that close. Um... Cousin. Um. Oh, okay. And I guess. Um. Okay. So the next thing is to take this crap and replace it with just the last piece. Uh, temporarily at least. Um, this is just temporary to match old DB. And so we'll do this. Data equals if you have blah blah. I could put in WP here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, that just gets replaced with dollar sign two. Um, and 
Now, how big is this? 20, so I'm not really getting any smaller here. Uh, uh, wait. So my, okay. So I guess in some cases the old DB has WP, in some cases it doesn't. Um, In some cases, we have double brackets for links in the old data. In some cases, it doesn't even um, it doesn't even do anything at all. Um, okay. a whole bunch of bad stuff and that appears okay 50 million pearls fans let's see if we have uh. Okay, so of course the negative annotations probably won't show up. Um, the negative annotations won't show up in the old database because the old database didn't have a concept of negative annotations. Um, that's actually not too bad then because that means we now actually have... Um, I thought we got rid of the ones that have the word hash in them. Wait, my new one has a hash in it somehow? What the hell? Come on, really? Oh, that's only for the few comic strips that I think that didn't appear. Um, for the few comic strips that didn't appear in any newspaper. I have to make a note there. Yeah, that's okay. Um, or maybe the ones where I have missing images or something. But that probably is okay. Okay, so now we can also, from, so the big one here that's going to really shrink this thing down to size now, um, is from the debug.txt, we're going to say, now watch this. F grep, oh, actually, I think we might be okay. Minus V, and what we want to get rid of is, oh, actually, I think we can do this, never mind. Um, post negative, if it has a negative sign after a pipe, meaning the um, the middle field is, is a negative, we're not going to use it. Now, as to whether or not I can get this to actually work, my god. Um... So we still have quite a few fields that are, are pretty bad. Um, but this is like really good shit though. Okay, hang on. So here, uh, the old file, which is uh, the old one, says Bob Human number two has relationships, uh, has um, Betty is his wife. Let's Let's see what's going on here. Um, okay, that's fine. Neighbor Bob. 
Okay, and I think this is a, a, a part of the bizarre renaming thing that I, I do with some of these. Um, yeah, let's see. <sighs> Brother. Okay. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to actually parse these more difficult cases. I'm 99% sure this 200523 gets added by, um, wait. Oh, yes, the old DB program, the old program uh, changes everything like this uh, to get to be like a canonical number, like number three, the next one would be number four, and, and so on and so, so forth. Um, Okay. Okay. Man alive, this is difficult. Alrighty, let's take a look here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So I guess I need to figure out exactly how to, to parse these things. Um, so apparently notes and description are different in the sense that... Uh, God damn, that makes this difficult. Um... Okay, so I guess I've got to figure out, I think in the original program I may have made an exception for description and notes as being special categories. Uh, which if I did, oh here we are. Notes, description, and event were being treated specially. So most of the time, okay. So that is why this this original program here does um, does make a an exception for description notes and event. Now I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. Um, and I think I need to. Um, How long was this original program? 240 lines. Uh, <laughs> and the thing that renumbers the characters is the DC fixed numbered characters here. Um, So I guess I'm gonna have to like really beat myself senseless because apparently I'm using two different kinds of 
of of I mean, e even in real semantic wikis, there's a difference between a link between two objects, excuse me, and a property of an object. So, like a description might be a property of an object, but the the the, the thing that is a description is usually not considered a uh, is not a um, it's not an object by itself. It's just a bunch of text. And similarly, if you're counting things, uh, that's just a bunch of, uh, you know, that's just a number. That it's not a link to something. But what bugs me about all this is I don't think I have this listed anywhere in here uh, as to why these things would be different. Um, let's see what this says. Yep. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Um. Okay. Wow. So this is interesting. Um. Okay. Uh, for example, if I say Dilbert, it means Dilbert's boss of the PHP, thus if Dilbert is an employee of boss of Dilbert. Further, if X boss Y, then both X and Y must be characters. So this is very sp father, son, daughter, child, character, character. Um, um, So I put in a little bit of extra work into this, apparently, and decided, um, that the, uh, the opposites of these things, uh, are, are, are actually named. And this right here, very, very LGBTQ, or whatever it is, unfriendly. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. 
And now I'm starting to remember something in my hazy memory. Um, I, I sort of got all of this stuff, um, this format from Semantic Media Wiki. And one, and I think this might even apply to regular wikis, uh, regular media wikis. Uh, there's a distinguishment between, um, like when you say notes, when we say like notes, colon, colon, the, the, the target of notes, this is not an object. This is a, a, li a literal. Uh, and you're really supposed to say colon equal or equal colon. Uh, you're not supposed to say colon colon. You're supposed to use an equal sign in there somewhere. So that is perhaps a very big mistake that I made. Um, and it is perhaps a way of finding out uh, what went wrong. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so without making this, um, well, so was this actually an attempt to create um, HTML pages? Maybe. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, so I need to figure out what the hell that was. Um, I clearly have some sort of... Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, header text. Uh, this is the header to the Storylines page. I'm going to lower the links to... Um, Okay. Oh, this is just header text for other stuff. Okay. So most of it's auto generated from here. Um Okay. Alrighty. So let's go back to PBS. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. <sighs> let's see if we have a set equal here. No, we do not. Um I think I just need like a format somewhere here. Uh. Okay. So maybe I'm going to have to do a little readme format here. Um Like a, wow, literally nothing with the word property in it. This is going to drive me freaking nuts. Um, oh, hang on, this might be actually... Oh, hang on, hang on. So I, I do distinguish between when the target is a property or a value as opposed to being a, a relation to another, uh, to, to another object. Um, so still not super happy yet. Um, so MetaMedia Wiki is probably the, the oldest thing I have on this. Um, okay, so back in these days, I was trying to use um, colon, uh, bang, bang instead of colon, colon. Um, um, I can seriously improve. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, Oh. 
So did I just use a single colon to mean um, property? Okay. Okay, this clearly is older than the other stuff that we have here. Uh, but we still don't have any sort of freaking documentation. Let's see when this was last, m when I last effed with this. Uh, and hope to see if there's any, like, text files that, uh, that are useful. And there do not appear to be. Ooh. Let's do it this way. Okay, not helpful. Um, let me look at sample data real quick. That if that has it in there, it's it's really really bad. Um, oh, this may have been my original um, my original attempt here. Okay. And if I have anything called description or something, or notes, uh, they should be mentioned differently than um, as character Patty. Uh, um, okay. These are some time intervals. Mm. <sighs> okay. Maybe it's time I bit the bullet. Nope, still not ready to do it. There is still somewhere that I have this documented correctly. Although it's theoretically possible. Um, no shit. I mean that. Oh. Why would that be in PBS text? Oh, that just something else. Um, God damn it! Where's the fucking documentation for all this? Did I really think this was going to be a documentation? Okay, excuse me while I go beat the crap out of myself. I'm going to go find this. I I have this fucking documented somewhere. Um. And I'm going to find it, even if it kills me. Let's see if this works. I do have this documented somewhere, kind of. Um, okay. Okay. Um, okay, not helpful. Okay. Maybe this really isn't documented. Because all the references I'm seeing here are pretty damn old. Um, in fact, they m it might have been that I did this like before I ever started putting stuff up on, on, um, on GitHub. 
So that could be the issue. Um, st I'm still working on this on the other machine, so please stand by. So if I can find out where this used to be, I might have a shot at it. Really, really reaching. Now, and again, I know it's taken me much longer to do this than it would be to just rewrite the documentation from scratch. now going to rewrite the documentation. Read me format. Uh, the format of media wiki, sorry, semantic media wiki stuff for this project is as follows. X's, okay, so this is going to mean X's Y is Z, and both X and Z are objects. X's Y is Z, X is an object, Y is a property. Z is a literal. Uh, okay, that's all we need. That's that, that's what it took. That's why we spent like an hour trying to avoid to putting in there. We will add more stuff to this. Um, so let's see here. I mean, this, this is just the very beginning, of course. Um, so this is good. Um, okay, and then we would have like dates Y is Z and date and Z are objects. Um, actually, I could probably just say that's literally equivalent to, okay, uh, dates Y is Z. And Z is a literal, not a, not a, uh, another object. Okay. Having done that, so I made an exception for notes, event, and I think description. So let's see what we're doing here. Notes. So basically, wherever I see notes colon colon, uh, I should make this set equal to set equal instead of colon colon. So let's do that. Note set equal. Oops, no, no, just that. Okay. Now the problem is I'm probably going to end up doing it like way past the end of the, uh, the, the end of the data chunk, but let's go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. Description, colon, okay, yeah. I'm going crazy now. Description, to description, set equal, done. Events, or event. Um, so I've already made the decision that event is a, um, it doesn't link objects to objects, it links objects to uh, descriptions. Okay. So that was refreshing. So now, now we can maybe clean this up a little bit here. Um, and let's see. Do I, what am I 
I'm trying to say here? Um, oh, meta, I meant to say, sorry. BC, no. BC meta. No. Local. Meta wiki local. There we go. Okay, so now. Uh, can do this, we can do this. This is temporarily just to match the old DB. Um, so we still need to handle Wikipedia links specially. I don't think we can just do this with it. Okay. Uh, this one's probably okay, although really we should do it inside of the... Um, inside of... Actually, we don't need this. Uh, so... Okay, so we have triples, da 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 da, we have data. Now we have it broken down one line at a time. Create semantic triples out of the data, which is... Okay. Alrighty. And so why don't we actually, don't do that. Now let's take a look at our data here and see what we're doing. I'm feeling a little bit better about this now. Not, not good enough to actually feel, I'm not actually feeling good about it. I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So let's do this. Pomodoro, back in two and two. And we're almost back. And we're back. And holy crap. I've been going for about two hours again. Okay, I'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll probably call it. So I think the big breakthrough here is we have to distinguish between things like notes and descriptions where the target is not an object and things like where the... the uh, the target is an object. And I'm pretty sure this will break. Um, but, you know, let's confirm it. Oh, actually, now I probably... Now I probably... What? Why is it doing this bizarreness to me? Alrighty. Oh, actually, I think meta also needs to be a... Uh, meta also needs to be a set equal to... Um, but anyway. Um, okay, so at this point, I probably just need to do BC Media Wiki... DC meta wiki, DC meta wiki, that. Okay. Um, but is, so what 
the hell's going on there? Do I have extra new lines in my data? Um, this is four. That's one line. Yeah, that's one line. This is for obvious stuff. Why is the comma is not a break there? And no, that shouldn't be happening. Okay, so right at the beginning we have some issues. Um, so zero zero. Okay, okay. Um, my data equals expand dates of data. This does not sound like it should be a problem. Um, well, let's see what this does. Pushing. All right, let's see what that does. Da -da -da -da. Uh, I mean, the, the comma is clearly what's causing a problem, but I don't see where. And the only thing I can possibly see is that I maybe am um, parsing the wrong thing. A bunch of plus K. I mean, you're not really supposed to change the loop variable, which is also not good. Um... Expand, I just sent it a string. Um, okay, well, let's let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. Let's da 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 da. Let's sing the rest of that Prince song. Alrighty, let's take a look here. Pushing. Okay, so that's broken right there. Um, I mean can't be breaking data. Um, split on the new line data. And I am I, I there's literally nothing I'm doing. Well, all right, hang on. The only thing I can think about is maybe somehow in this process data now has some extra new lines that it didn't. Um, the problem is, no, see, this is fine. This is still one line. But there's something with the comma that's going on here that I don't understand. Um, nothing going on here. We don't even bother to replace the HTML equivalent. Okay, so now, uh, let's go over here. Expand dates data. So I guess we could, we, we're going to have to debug it over here. But none of this should be broken in transit. We'll call this data 2. None of this should be breaking in transit. Uh, so it still looks like... Um, So split on the new line date. The only thing I can think of is I'm not doing this correctly for some reason. Um, I mean, I, th I could sworn I could have sworn I've done it like a bajillion times before, but maybe I've done it wrong this time. Um, <coughs> excuse me. No, maybe I got my parentheses wrong. Split on a new line, the data, which we know the very first line of data is is data, but then terrible badness. 
Oh, okay, I think I know what's wrong, actually. It is the thing I shouldn't have been doing. What? Pushing. Yeah. I think this is the best. Well, shit. It's all that I pre. And let's not debug that here. I pre okay, so this the top I pre is empty. Um wait. Okay, that looks fine. Uh so why are we having issues? Why were we having issues? Oh. Mm. Something is wrong. Okay, I think... I think effing with I like this is probably not a great idea. But it kind of bugs me um that this i pre is empty i mean that's not that's not good so i pre and then pushing colon new line what the hell mm. something is rotten in the state of denmark so is the first line of data just like a new line or something? Um, pushing zero for obvious stuff, but this is probably a bad idea. Um, comma, but preserved human, presumed human rather. This should not break things too badly. All right, so let's take a look here. I pre. So it looks like the only thing that's broken is the very first one. But why? Why is that? Why is that even happening? Um. I guess I could skip over the first one by just skipping the blank line. Um, I mean, I'm not crazy about the fact we're getting blank lines in here, but I probably don't care. Um, oh yeah, there is a blank line. Okay, well, fine. Skip blank lines. Oh, and actually this could be a test. If there isn't something like this, something is wrong. But anyway, it starts with uh, the start character, nothing but spaces, nothing but spaces. Uh, then we will just continue. Okay, so now let's see what this does. Um, Okay, I'm hoping that was a, whoa. Wait. Mm. Okay, I don't know what I'm debugging here, so it's possible. I shouldn't be seeing any of those. Um, oh, this is data two, Never mind. Okay. Um, so I should now just see pushing. Uh, okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. 
Uh, there should be a zero, 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 zero one up there at the very top, but yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, so this does the date split correctly. Um, Okay, so I think we got rid of the worst of it. Um, and I think I'm sick to death of this. So thank you for watching the stream. I hope we got through the worst of this and it's going to get better. And I may even come back later tonight because I have not wasted enough time doing this. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.